There's a colorful neighborhood in southeast Tucson that's hard to forget. You'll notice it by its purple and green and yellow and orange homes. That neighborhood is called Savano. And today we're going to take a look at what makes Savano unique and why people from near and far want to call Savano home. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in to this video. If you're visiting or considering making a move to Tucson, you've come to the right place. My name is Kevin Wood with the Wood Group Realtors at EXP right here in Tucson, Arizona. And please do yourself a favor and click the bell, tap that subscribe button so you can find out when we post new information about where to hike, where to eat, cycle, ride, hike, tee it up and live in Tucson, Arizona. The Savano subdivision was once the master plan community of the year because it was truly the first of its kind and considered the future of real estate development in the residential area. All homes featured, this is way back in 1999, I know just 22 years ago, but they all featured solar hot water heaters, low E windows, low flow water fixtures, and other resource efficiency measures that saved homeowners as much as 50% on electricity costs. The site planning was unique as well. One such feature you'll find when you drive through Savano is you very rarely will see a garage. The garages are on their own separate street and they all face one another. So what that gives you in the front of all the properties is the space and uh, you have front porches and courtyards. So it has a more community um, type of feel to it. There are over 830 homes built in Savano. They started again back in 1999 in the last group of homes finished in uh, pretty late 2021. Uh, during that span of time, there's been nine different builders who have followed Savano's very special requirements. Uh, the last one being AF Sterling, who completed 18 homes. And those last 18 homes that have been put up are located right behind the Tucson Medical Center's Rincon campus um, on the south side of Savano. The homes range in size from between about 1,200 square feet all the way up to about 4,100 is the largest. And over the last couple of years, this is in early 2022, the values have been between about $300,000 and $510,000. The most popular floor plan you'll see is about a 2,000 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, single story home. Usually has a detached garage out back, very spacious kitchen, and terrific front porch. So Savano is located in the Desirable Vale School District. Uh, there's also a Savano Community School, which kind of has the feel of a Montessori school. Uh, it offers grades K through eighth. Um, the ratio is excellent at the community school. I think there's only about a dozen students per one teacher. Uh, the numbers are very small there, which is really advantageous for, for the right students. Also nearby is the Sunita Valley Elementary School and then you have Rincon Vista Middle School. Uh, Micah Mountain, uh, that's the high school, that's within a couple of miles, and then you also have the options of Cienega, Empire, and then there's also the Andrada Polytechnic High School as well. Those are all uh, within the Vail School District, and you can open enroll um, at all those schools. Savano does have many different amenities, which include uh, two pools, a tennis court, bocce ball area, there is a community garden, uh, playground there's a huge massive grass area that's um there's some soccer goals out there uh basketball court and there's walking trails across the street from savano uh the walking paths obviously wind through the neighborhood as well there's several different businesses that call savano home also there's a dentist office an insurance agency a bakery and then the um, ballet rincon is in there and then of course uh, the biggest business that's right there in savano is the nursery so next up, let's talk about shopping, medical, recreation, restaurants in proximity to Savannah. So right here in the middle where the big hand is, this is where the actual neighborhood is located. Next to Savano, you have the Tucson Medical Center's Rincon campus, and then there's also an animal hospital there, a uh, gas station. As far as with grocery shopping, there are a total of five places within about 10 minutes of Savano. Um, you've got a fries right down here. 
And then if you go to the north, there's a Walmart, there's a Target, there's a Safeway, and there's actually another Safeway just below where this arrow is located. As far as with employers, um, you have Amazon, uh, Davis Monthan Air Force Base is just about 10 minutes away. Uh, Tucson Medical Center is less than a half an hour away. And then some of the other big employers in town like the University of Arizona, Banner Health, uh, those are all within 30 minutes of Savannah also. As far as recreation, that's the great thing about this east side location is you still have access to a lot of fun stuff to do. And it's really close. Uh, as you can see here, Right across the street from Savannah, you have the Fantasy Island Mountain Bike Park, which has 15 miles of trails that are located from about right here at this green dot all the way down to Valencia Road here. This is all mountain bike trails out in here. And then in addition to that, the Loop Bike Trail is right near the same point as well. The Loop Bike Trail is very popular. It's 131 miles of paved uh, bike path that takes you all the way around the city, takes you along the Pantana Wash and the Relito River, and it gives you access to businesses, uh, restaurants, and workplaces for that matter also. So in addition to that, you talk about hiking, and that's a really big thing in Tucson because of our four mountain ranges. We are in the valley of those four. And Tucson, Tucson, Saguaro National Park is right here. Swirl National Park also has um, about a dozen trails that you can go up, um, travel around. Now, there's an eight-mile loop around Saguaro National Park also, which is really beautiful, easy way to kind of just take in the sights without getting out um, into the outdoors too much. But if you do like hiking, if you want to enjoy this weather and do some of the most basic and easy hikes, you can. Or if you want something a little bit more moderate or pretty technical, uh, you can get up into the mountain ranges, and that's always a really good time. Next up is golf. So you talk about recreation. Golf is very popular in Tucson. There is there's five courses within 25 minutes of Savannah. So the first one is just five minutes away, and that is the Fred Ank Golf Course. That's literally like two and a half miles away. And then you have Two other courses, one is right here, it's called Rolling Hills, and then you also have Dorado, and then there's two more courses to the north. This is the north right here. You have 49ers, and then also Arizona National. So that's five, and then the sixth course is out here in Vail at Del Lago. So you can see Savano is centrally enough located in the southeast corridor of Tucson that you still have access to medical, to shopping, and to the recreation and the fun, and also restaurants too. There's a dozen restaurants within about 15 minutes of Savannah, so you have a lot of good choices out there as well. And you can see from this Google Earth view, it is really beautiful in Southeast Tucson, as you have the view of the Tanca Verde Mountains, and you also have the Rincons, which are back here. It is absolutely stunning out in Southeast Tucson. And as I mentioned earlier, if you're visiting Tucson or even considering making a move, don't hesitate to give me a call, shoot a text or an email, or leave a comment below, and I'll follow up with you personally. And there's never, ever any obligation if you do. And do yourself a favor, click on that subscribe button, tap the bell, so you can be updated about any new information that we may post about neighborhoods like Savano, and also where to hike, where to ride, where to tee it up and live in Tucson, Arizona. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.